Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a neutral-ish eye with a super bright colored lipstick. So on that note, if you think you want to be interested in seeing how I achieve that look, then just keep on watching. So let's pretend that I applied an eyeshadow primer. I normally don't. I Well, you know what? I never really do. But you know, if you do that or if your eyelids crease really easily, then go ahead and do that now. Then I'm going to take my Naked palette, and you can tell it's like super duper old. But anyway, I'm just going to take um, Sin, just with the eyeshadow brush that came with it, and I'm just going to take that and pack that all over my eyelid. Just um, building up the color to get a really, 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 really nice bright shimmery color. If you want, you could do a matte color. But I like having a little bit of shimmer going on on my eyelids, so I'm gonna do that. Then I also like to take whatever is left on the brush and just run that uh, through the inner corner of my eye and around my tear duct, just to further bring some, you know, brightness and fun to your eyes. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I already have a uh, brow highlight on. I just use um, I do it when I'm doing my full face foundation and whatever. I take my highlighting powder and I just pop that under my eyebrow and. I use the Hard Candy Bronzer in Tiki. It's really, really, really light. I don't really see it as a bronzer, but yeah, I just pop that under my eyelids as a brow highlight, just so you know. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm gonna be taking the color Mousse, which is just like a really, really, um, well, it's not light brown, but you know, it's like a few shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm just taking this brush. It's like a dome-shaped brush. It's from Walmart. It's from Still Spa, essentially. I'm just gonna pick some of that color up and then I'm just going to start putting that into my crease just simply you know stick that color in your crease and blend it out and make it look all pretty and I'm not doing anything fancy I'm literally just sticking this in my crease and windshield wiper in circular motions I also just want to quickly say you know this is kind of irrelevant but I mean um, I'm sorry I don't have like a super HD camera because I know that most like makeup gurus on YouTube have like super super high quality cameras and they have some intricate like setup behind them and everything but um, for the camera part I just I right now I cannot afford it like that's the only reason otherwise I would go and get a better camera and you know I would in my room it would look a lot more prettier than whatever's going on back here <laughs> but like I always say I use my Mac um, the desktop uh, camera thingy in here and for like it's not bad but I wish it was better and I apologize for like not the not so great video quality -ness. but um once I can afford a really good camera I'm definitely gonna invest in that and then you'll see my face all up and beautiful in HD so I just thought I'd get that out there anyway next once you have that on your eyelid I'm gonna take the same color but just on a really really like small like it's, it's super tiny I believe this is Real Techniques, and I'm just going to also bring mousse, sorry I'm getting so close, um, I'm just taking mousse underneath my lash line, you know, to even it out and make it look smoky. So I just realized that there was music still playing in my room, so I don't know if that's gonna like catch that, but if you did, well that's what that was. Um, anyway, next I'm taking my Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown eyeshadow in Coco, and I'm just taking this MAC. You know, I don't even know what it is anymore. It's like rubbed off, but it's like <laughs> it's a pointy brush. I'm just picking some of that color up, and I'm just gonna start applying that like right into the crease. You know, like you know, there's like that big space of a crease, but you just want to stick that like right in that crease and then just to add, you know, some more depth and dimension to your eyes. Then I also like to bring it to the outside and make that v-shape but it's gonna be like a really long v-shape you know so i'm just gonna do that now i'm also going to take the kyoko um eyeshadow and i'm just going to run it on the outer third not bringing it all the way in just keeping it on the outer third <laughs> um so you know maybe go up to where your iris starts and that's usually you know a good place to end that line so I just curled my eyelashes and I like have half my eyeliner on but I wanted to redo it just because when I was curling my eyelashes I accidentally swore. Um, I mean I've asked you guys this before if you 
don't mind me swearing in my videos. I mean, it wouldn't be like every second word or anything, but if it slips out, I'm just wondering if like, you know, you guys would be like, you know, cool with that, or if you don't like that, just, you know, let me know. But I curled my eyelashes, and then I, I wasn't, I normally don't do my eyeliner on camera, but I mean, if you guys don't mind seeing my handy dandy mirror in there, I'm gonna show you. So I just use my Annabelle eyeliner, as always, just in black. And I usually start from the outer corner, just dragging my way in. I probably don't do it like the best way, but this is what works for me. And I just keep going into my inner corner. And I don't bring it in all the way anymore. I stop just before my tear duct, just because I find that it um, doesn't close my eyes off as much. It makes them look more um, almond shaped, I guess. But yeah, I'm just gonna draw a simple line, thin on the inner corner, and then obviously thicker on the outer corner. Now for the wing, I just start on, um, well I draw, I draw it up with my lower lash line, and I just start drawing up. If my eyeshadow um, has like an angle going with it, I'll usually try to follow that, but like, in general, you kind of want to follow like the end of your eyebrow, I find, is a good guideline. And I just start dragging it out, making a wing shape. I don't really know how to explain it this that well. But I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a general um, wing shape looks like. You just, you know, it's pretty much honestly just a triangle. I kind of screwed up at the beginning. But um, I just start drawing a general wing shape. And then this is how I get the perfect clean eyeliner because you know if you use pencil it's really hard to get like a crisp line going. So I take this eyeshadow or no eyeliner brush and this just comes with the L'Oreal Gel Infallible Eyeliner. And I've kept this because I really like it. it. The brush holds its shape very well. So I just clean up the edge of my wing. And then I just start drawing upwards and like if you get that general triangle shape usually when you draw upwards from the bottom line here it creates you see it creates that nice crisp line you want so I just keep doing that until I get the wing um, the shape and the precision I want from it so I'm just gonna do that next I'm gonna cur I already did that I just want to play my mascara and I just use the Maybelline Rocket mascara this is just, I always use drugstore mascaras because I always wear eyelashes and these are the Ardell 105s which are right now like my absolute favorite eyelashes just because they're really full and they look natural for like what they're worth because they're really 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 long but they still you know honestly look pretty natural and they're really really nice. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll be right back. So this is it for the finished eye look. It's just a super simple, neutral, you know everyday makeup. So now I'm going to use this for my pop of color. So before using this I'd use some Carmex lip balm of course to prep your lippies to make sure they're nice and you know soft and not cracky. So this is just the NYX um, matte lipstick. Yes matte lipstick in the color Indie Flick and it's just a really really bright orange red coral whatever color this is lipstick. So I'm just going to apply this. I'm not gonna use any lip liner or you know fancy products like that. I'm just gonna apply it straight on. I'm not even gonna use a makeup brush. <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, put put it on, I guess. I don't I don't do it in any like super fancy, like um super cool way. So I'm just gonna put that on, I'll be right back, just like this. So I don't know why the camera makes it look like my lips are like uneven, but I swear in real life it's even. But this is the finished product. Just a really um, simple neutral eye. And on this, I, everything looks darker. Like my hair looks super dark, the lipstick looks super dark, but I swear it's like, it's more light than this. It doesn't, it's not as like dark and intense. Um, but you know, that's, that's this for ya. But anyway, yeah. So this is the finished product. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Just nice summer makeup. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Bye!